trading cards and more back again here to bring you another video and today we have seven packets of the Star Wars The Last Jedi series two hobby cards apologies for my long nails they will be cut next video so I ordered a pack four packs on Friday and then I got some more money on Sunday ordered another three packs we've had a part one on the channel I had a full box but I think I only did half the video because I got like a crap autograph and like some ass so uh, yeah we'll open these three first because these are the seconds I ordered then we'll order four oh yeah they were the first one sorry uh, so let's hope we can get something. I think for the first time ever, it's a one autograph guaranteed. It's not an autograph or a sketch guaranteed. So that's decent. We won't get one probably in here. We've got like a one in two chance of getting one of the hits out of a 24 packet box. Uh, and this will probably have spoilers in for the. Oh. Yeah, this will probably have spoilers in for the Last Jedi, as see, part one did not. So we start with returning the lightsaber. And that's Ray handing it to Luke, sorry for that. Yeah, I have BB-8. I won't say the name of the card exactly. It's got Finn and Rose. We then have Captain Phasma and that guy. I forget what his name was. We then have a very nice, this is a parallel. Not Cal Fierrell, the Resistance character card, and it's blue. Not a parallel, but I believe this one is. First Order TIE Fighter there. And yeah, 15 out of 99, guys. So we do get a numbered card. 15 of 99. This must be a red panel. Very, very lovely design this collection. Already better in my opinion than the ones I opened previously. But yeah, definitely. I think they might be similar, but I don't know. I'm, just, I'm liking this. We then have a blue panel, non-numbered. Uh, Snoke takes action. And we finish with a Conan Sire flight helmet. So not too bad pack to start off with, with a numbered pull. <coughs> Pardon me. Let's get into our second pack, guys. And girls, if you've got girls watching, we start this pack with a BB-8 space. Uh, that one there. Kylo Ren. Luke. A brilliant uh, Carrie Fisher. Of course, Princess Leia, rest in peace. Character card. We don't have, uh, yeah, so this is just a white version of that. Oh, this is the science, I'm guessing non-numbered these ones. Yeah, so the red parallel was numbered. Oh, we have a purple parallel this time, is that numbered? That is the BB-8, the co-pilot. Non-numbered, so we must get different colour parallels. And then we have a Stormtrooper Executioner helmet to finish with that pack. So a very nice pull, I really do like that Carrie Fisher pull. Let's the third pack. Oh, yeah, to mention, I think Adam Driver looks a bit weird as Kylo Ren on the pack. I don't know if he's right on it, he, he doesn't look right. Oh. oh no, I thought we just got a really big autograph. We have uh, a there. Uh, Finn versus Phasma. That card. Looks like that's a brilliant scene. Calibre versus Luke near the end. Uh, Luke opens up to Ray. Kylo, and that's what I thought the auto was. Character card. We then have a destroying the. Dragon up base card, that's red, is that a numbered one? It is. And this time it's 16 out of 199. Oh. 16 out of 199 there. Very nice little card of Poe. They finish with a Proton Bomb. That's a very weird looking card. Okay, so was this 199? No, oh, it's a 99. Red. So two numbered cards so far, guys. Very happy with that. That means parallels must be quite easy to get in this collection. So we've got four more packs to go. What are you guys thinking? Uh, let me know in the comments below. We have Chewbacca and Ray. Poe uh, Chronics, who's played by Billy Lord, who's like a, ma a major crush. Princess Leia's daughter in real life, Carrie Fisher's daughter. Uh, she is there by herself. Ten. Hey, girls, cover up. Yeah, she's had a bigger role in this one. We have Finn. We have Snoke. A Stormtrooper, which is not numbered. And then we have a The Approaching Doom. Blue parallel. We finish with a resistance ring. Well, I think it's at the end of the movie. That ring's used. Like right, a kid. Two, three more packs to go, guys. Sorry, it's a bit. I mean, a bit boring. I'm just first time ever opening these cards. Don't think we've got anything in here, so we'll go through this one quite quick. Don't think we'll get a hit, but you never know. That card. Red card. Poe and Finn. The group there. Part of a ship. We have a different first order, first order strong trooper this time, so we have an executioner. We have Supreme Leader Snoke on the thing talking to people and a helmet. So two packs off to go guys. 
we slowed down a bit now in the uh, it's, um, cool cards, but yeah. Let's have a look. This pack we start with a few mana characters there, I believe. So that card we just got in the last pack. Look. Uh, layer again. Layer and pearl. An autograph of BB-8, guys. Oh my god. The puppeteer for BB-8, David... Dave Chapman. Wow. An autograph, guys. It's better than the autograph got in my other box. That is awesome. A Star Wars autograph. So he must have been the one who... Well, yeah, he's a puppeteer, so he would have made BB-8, I think. And done quite a bit for him. That is unbelievable to hit that. Very happy. Very, very happy. What an opening. Definitely worth the wait. And we have a blue parallel of Rose and Finn. Let me finish with that. Oh, yes. He's a main... Well, he's not a main character, is he? But... Yeah, he's like, the, he's like the new C3PO, isn't he? And R2-D2. So that is a bloody amazing pull. So this was definitely worth the money. Let's go. Let's to the next pack, where I don't think we have a hit. No, but you never know. So we start with Stormtrooper. So we got the hit out of the box. Luke, I'm guessing it'll be a sketch or a patch left. Oh, we have another. Uh, I think that's DJ. Yeah, DJ from the character. I have that card. We have C3PO there, but not base. And then we have a, ooh, General Hux. That's that guy's name. Base card. What a little character card. And have a Luke stands alone card. And we finish with a helmet. So, great, great, unbelievable opening, guys, for seven packs. I'm sorry it went on a while, but I'm really... <coughs> pardon me. Happy we got some good cards. So we got the BBA autograph from his puppeteer. We then got a numbered, well we got this first, number to 99 uh, blueprint card I think they're called. And then we got another numbered to 199 pop card. So yeah, really great opening guys. What are your thoughts on this collection? I'm re I really think it's a beautiful collection. Due to it having, you know, the actual scenes in now, what I had for season part one, which is more like promo pictures. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. I will see you for the next one very shortly. I might do that multi pack soon from my Panini stickers, trading cards, and more. Saying whatever BB8 says in that way.